What is going on, everybody? My name is Josh, and welcome to my day one recap of the Call of Duty World Championships 2014. So, I tried to watch as many games. Oh, but before I get started, video is brought to you by No Scope Glasses. Get your pair. Link is in the description. Also, you can use discount code DISC5P for 5% off at checkout. So, I tried to watch as many matches as I could, um, but there's four channels, you know, so it's hard to watch all the games when you're trying to watch a full series between two teams. You know, I you could try to watch one game a little bit in between commercial breaks, but out of the 12 teams that qualified today for brackets tomorrow, I did not get to see all of the matches. So I'll throw up a graphic, a graphic on screen of the uh, the teams that qualified and their seedings. Um, thanks to Esports Nation for the graphic. These guys are really on top of their stuff, so go follow them on Twitter. Um, but anyway. Who qualified? The uh, first, the one seeds are SB, Complexity, TK, Trident T1 Daughters, which I did not pick to uh, move on, and Immunity. I'm pretty sure, yeah, Immunity. And I did not pick them to move on either. Uh, so those two were the only, the only predictions, actually, two of the three predictions I got wrong. Uh, second seeds would be Vitality Returns. Uh, Vex's Revenge, Wild, Phase, and Envious. Now, uh, there's two more teams that qualified because that's only eight teams. Now, those two teams are Optic and Epsilon. Now, the reason they qualified was because basically they just had to be NSP. Uh, all they had to do was beat NSP, and then they did. So, Epsilon beat uh, NSP, and Optic beat NSP. They both 3 0 NSP. And that's the first thing I want to talk about, is should these guys have been in the tournament? I mean, they only had to play one team to qualify, whereas Optic and all these other teams, these top eight teams, had to play an online qualifier, then they had to go to an, a LAN, and they had to compete against uh, 15 other teams, and only the top eight came out. Now, that's a lot different than just playing one team and qualifying for a million-dollar tournament. Granted, they... They're not even close to being in the money, but uh, you know, I don't think they they could beat any team at this at this event. You know, I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. Op Optic beat them by a hundred points on the domination. They beat them by like twenty something blitz caps and uh, the S and D. They six would them, so it was really kind of pointless. So Epsilon was basically just a repeat of that. So that's all I have to say about Group G. Uh, F is to be decided. I believe that is. Uh, Xfinity and what's the other team? TCM. I think that's their group. And then I can't. I don't remember what group H is. Or I might have them flipped. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, so there's some key matches I wanted to talk about here. The first one would be Phase versus SK. Now this was Phase's second match. Now the reason I say this was such a big deal was because Phase had already lost to T1 Daughters, which is an Australian team. Now. I did not know that they won the Australian champ uh, regional qualifiers. If if I would have known that, I probably would have picked them to move on rather than Aztecs, who had an 0-3 record on the day. So that was a complete fail for my predictions. Should have done my research a little bit more there. Um, but the Phase versus SK match, um, it was a German team. I want to talk about that because they... Face had already lost to T1 Daughters, so they were 0-1 on the day. Now, if they had lost to SK, that would put them at 0-2. They beat Aztec, though, which would give them a 1-2 record. Now, that would be... So, if... That would... They'd be automatically disqualified, essentially, if, if they lost to SK. So, that was huge. Went to map 5, uh, and I believe it was round 11. And Phase came out with the win. And actually, it might not. It was either around 10 or 11. It was close to the end, anyway. And Phase, like, barely pulled it out. It was a crazy, crazy match. And, you know, they, they are now in the bracket tomorrow. Uh, the next match I want to talk about is Envy versus TEC. Now, T, uh, Envy already had lost to Immunity, who is another Australian team. I'm pretty sure they're an Australian team. And Australia just came up big. They're, they both have one seeds. So that's crazy for Australia. They're both above NA teams. So, I mean, you know, there you have it. Um, but Envy had already lost to Immunity. And if they had lost to TEC, they would have only had one more game to play. 
and that was a whole big thing. But here's the thing with the Envy, uh, the, the thing about Envy. Envy played TEC, and that went down the map 5-2, and they came out on top of that. But, but, get this, right? They came out with a three-way tie, right? So TEC beat Immunity. Immunity beat, uh, and, no, hold on, TEC beat Envy, Envy beat Immunity, and they all beat, but did Immunity beat TEC? I think that's how it was. Yeah, anyway, all three of those teams ended up going 2-1 and one in their pool play, so that means there was a three-way tie. They had already beat each other a certain amount of times. There was no no really other way to do do the tiebreaker other than play a round robin of S and D's. Um, Envy played T or Envy played TEC first and won, and then I believe TEC played uh, Immunity or something, or that broke the tiebreaker. I don't remember what it was, but anyway, Envy came out on top over TEC um, in that, and then. The the other one I have is uh, SK played Trident in what was going to be the deciding factor of whether or not it would be a three way tie or uh, Trident would be the the one seed and Trident was up two zero in map count and SK came back another two maps um, they went down in the domination and the S and D they won the Blitz won the domination or won the Blitz yeah. Won the Blitz, won the domination again, and uh, then they lost the S and D, and it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. I think it was like a two, two six loss. But anyway, there's the teams that came out um, on top uh, for today. Now there's not all teams in the brackets. Optic is playing Epsilon first. That will decide who gets one and two seed. After that, we'll go into bracket play. And then on Sunday, we will have Championship Sunday. So I really good, just wanted to do this recap for you guys to, for anybody that didn't make all the all the games or that they don't have a Twitter account or something. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't give you guys all the games. I know SB had 3-0, uh, Complexity went 3-0, and TK went 3-0. They never lost um, those three teams. So, that's all I really saw. I saw the Complexity Vex Revenge game, and uh, Complexity beat them out pretty bad. I think it was like a 2-1, but it was like a good 2-1. Like the, the one loss they had was barely a loss. So, Complexity is looking pretty strong. I didn't see any of SB's matches. Um, and I made sure to watch that Optic match versus S and an NSP. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm sorry. I, I'm not a robot. I'm not Krim. I can't watch all the streams at once. I mean, I could put a stream here and a stream there. But I wouldn't be able to pay attention to both streams. Because I have two screens. You can probably see it on my glasses. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to pay attention to both at the same time. It would be really difficult, actually. So I try my best. And I will be bringing you guys a recap tomorrow. And then a recap on Sunday. I hope I did a good job recapping it for you. Let me know what you thought of day one of Call of Duty Championships. Tomorrow we will have teams. Basically, we will. I think we're going to have the top eight decided tomorrow. At least the top eight decided tomorrow. So stay tuned for that, MLG.TV. And uh, follow me on Twitter. I talk about the matches. I'm going to be watching basically all day. I think so, at least. And uh, stay tuned for the recap tomorrow. That's all I have for you guys today. My name is Josh, and I will see you guys later. Peace.